I'm Lynn Dale, a district veterinarian with local land services. Three day sickness is currently circulating in New South Wales. So it's time to increase the monitoring of your herd to daily and to prepare your cattle with a first aid kit on farm. So this means having suitable veterinary medicines and equipment on hand, but most importantly, it means knowing how to nurse cattle, particularly if they become recumbent in your paddocks. Have a chat to your veterinary practitioner now before you have any animals affected by three day sickness and develop a management plan with them for your herd. It's best to be pre-armed with advice and supplies. So depending on the situation, your vet might suggest anti-inflammatory medication, which is injected into the animal. An injection of anti-inflammatories can reduce the fever and the inflammation that the virus causes in the animal, and it can prevent them from becoming recumbent if given very early in the course of the illness. This medication needs to be prescribed by your veterinary practitioner, so talk to them now. It's important to note that vets can only prescribe such medications if they have a bona fide relationship with their clients and they've been to your farm recently. The second item that's a medication that's handy to have on hand is a couple of packs of four in one calcium magnesium flow packs that you can inject under the skin. This can help with muscle function because the action of the virus can deplete the calcium from the animal's body. So injections of calcium magnesium, one bag under the skin or two bags if they're a large animal, uh, can help the animal to maintain the standing position. But most importantly, it's important to uh, be prepared to nurse recumbent or sore lame cattle through the course of the illness. Good nursing care is sometimes the difference between recovery and not recovery. After all, many more cattle have died from secondary issues associated with dehydration and being out in the elements and in hot, dry weather without adequate food, water and nursing care than have died from the actual effects of the virus. So what is good nursing care for cattle that may be affected by three days sickness and be recumbent in the paddock? Or maybe they're not recumbent, but maybe they're just not moving much because they're so sore and feeling unwell. So the, there are some key steps to ensure good nursing care. The first is to provide shelter from the hot sun. The second is to ensure easy access to a constant supply of cool, fresh water. So this is a big bucket of fresh water. Dehydration from hot weather and lack of fluids will make the effects of the disease so much worse and cattle have died from the effects of dehydration. Next, it's important to ensure they have good access to good quality feed. If the animal is in the paddock with other cattle, you may have to erect a temporary fence around them so that the other cattle don't steal their feed and water. If the animals are recumbent, it's important to um, uh, lift the animal if you have adequate equipment. Um, you can actually move the animal to a safe spot in it, such as a shed with soft bedding and this is a really worthwhile step because one, it pr protects them from the elements and two, they have nice soft bedding um, underneath their um, limbs. The other aspect to, to consider is that um, if, you, um, if they're in the paddock, it's important to roll the animals several times a day uh, or lift them to prevent secondary uh, muscle and nerve damage from the compressive effects of lying on their one side all the time and compressing their nerves and muscles of their limbs. The Dairy Australia website has some great fact sheets and clips on how to nurse recumbent cattle. Look, I hope this brief summary on managing three days sickness helps your herd if mosquitoes carrying the three days sickness virus make their way to your farm. As always, it's important to seek advice from your veterinary practitioner to ensure that the illness affecting your cattle is in fact three days sickness and not another illness or injury that is masquerading as three days sickness.